Hey everybody! Welcome back to the world's messiest RimWorld colony where uh, Doolittle has an extreme break risk? Oh right, because that's Inga. Yeah, um... Where the games are made up and the points don't matter. But they sort of matter right now because like we're in an actual hellscape. Um... Uh, lost amidst the badness of what has happened in the past episode or so is probably the fact that, I mean, let's focus on the positives. We just got through, like, a 25-person raid. Okay, okay. Colmia has some infection. What's her... his odds of getting recruited? Not not much, so you're getting released anyway. So I don't mind if you die. If I, I would have given you herbal medicine if there was a chance you could have been recruited, but there's not, so I don't really care. Um... You know, we're already dealing with mood debuffs out of our asshole right now. So we we just defeated, like, an enormous raid. And we've improved our relations with Bren of Turtle, who is almost maybe unhostile. Which is exceptionally, you know, ridiculous to me. Injured. Malnutrition. Dude, you should just become part of our colony. The one positive thing I'll say is, ain't nobody getting malnourished here. Roman is making wart. You know what? This is ex highly inefficient. No longer will you be making wart. What are you doing? Probably trying to recruit a colonist? Oh, releasing a banquiero. Good. Inga, aka Doolittle, is suffering from starvation. This is because she has a, a much greater desire to eat as she goes through withdrawal. Okay, Brent of Turtle is improved by 15 again, so we're at minus 2 now, which... I think we may actually have our first, uh, non-super hostile colony. Or, or faction. But I still want to get Bushedo. <laughs> what a name. I still want to get Bushedo on our side, if possible. Um, we got a l it's a hideous environment here, let's just be honest. Um, we have a couple of things to do before we can even worry about anything else. Granted. Um, one of these is install a door there. We definitely need to... Uh, this has not been solved yet. Okay, that needs to be installed. Um, we need to fix our kill box, which involves the construction of three new turrets, at least. And we need to install, like, a door here. And then granite walls here and here and here. Doolittle is binging on alcohol. We have three beers. So, you know what? By all means, go nuts. Again, anything to just stem the tide of the mood debuff due to your addiction. So, like, whatever it takes for you, Inga, Doolittle, my wife, I'll accept it. Come on, come on, come on. Look at this, you got a fine meal. And you're gonna tell me you don't want to be a part of my colony? Maybe we should blow out some of these walls and just have, like, two big prison cells. Because I think it is making it tougher for us to get uh, prisoners this way. Um, okay. Moods are actually pretty solid right now. Tomo's research is going very well. Rob is going to clean dirt. I'm not going to say that we, like, don't need cleaning to be done. Because cleaning is pretty important right now. But we also, like, desperately want to get at least all of the corpses out of the way. By the way, we are almost through the winter. Which is not as relevant as it used to be because we have no problems with food. Uh, Doolittle is no longer binging on alcohol because we have none. That's one way to stop a stop a raid. Or not a raid, but a binging, I guess. We had a little bit of smoke leaf going on there. We're cooking some fine meals. Critical alert fire. That was just Nick Hotbox in the freezer. Alright, so if your mood gets low enough, you can smoke one smoke leaf cigarette per day. Don't let me Rob, you should actually like clear prioritize work and get some sleep. Because I forgot you're gonna you're gonna go through with that uh, cremating until there's nothing left to cremate. Which is what Nick's gonna do right now, and that's fine by me. Oh, do a little, come on now. Cargo pods. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'd rather just make that, uh, yayo unacceptable to grab. Ooh, Nick and Doolittle, excuse me. Rebuffed by Doolittle, fantastic. I appreciate that. Look at these, moods are going sky high here. And we're starting to build ourselves, you know, out of this. I don't mind giving you a couple meals a day. Um, even if it only gives us like a 1% chance of ever recruiting you, does not bother me. Um, I, I want to... Basically, keeping you as my prisoner is easier than releasing you at this point. Um, 
So we harvested some heal root, I think, there. Come on, come on. Give me like a 1 in 50 chance. Pick a number between 1 and 50. I take 3. 1.7% chance. It's roughly 2. I'll live with it. Tattered apparel. Rob has a tattered apparel, but he'll fix that when he wakes up. All right, is this turkey? This turkey does not belong to us. We have a little space in our freezer for meat. Let's issue a hunt order. Um, Tomo, you're doing a great job on the research here, buddy. Don't get me wrong. But you're one of our few capable colonists. So I'd really like you to work on, you know, just fixing our stuff here. Like, technically Nick's room is not even a room right now. Because we had we let them break the door, which we never should have done. Tomo's construction skill leaves a little bit to be desired, by the way. You know what? You can sleep as soon as you build your, your own door. That's the rule of my colony. <sighs> Tomo failed while constructing. Is Nick a much better constructor? No, they all suck. All right, Rob. I don't know why you shouldn't be you shouldn't be having smoke leaf when your life is pretty good. You're only supposed to have smoke leaf. Uh... Oh, by the way, I totally forgot. Is Roman a night owl? No. Green thumb. Great at growing. If you're not a night owl, you still get uh, joy right there. And um, then for restrictions or assignments, you get uh, Young Metro, and you get the Willie Nelson Doctrine. Okay. Good work. I think things are going okay. Rob's a little slower today, that's okay. You know, he's, he's cleaning. It's gonna take a long time to clean up all the shit that is, like, clogging up our, our system right now. So whatever you gotta do to do that is fine by me. We're planting some cotton right now because it's about to be the spring, I guess, so... I mean, we need the cotton for medicine, so that's fine. I really think that once these start growing, we're gonna be at a nice equilibrium. Like, our meals are fine. We're, we're using... We're, we're still gaining food, let me put it that way. Tomo and Roman, they're having a nice little social conversation here. Maybe they're, uh... You know, a budding romance, I don't know. Rob's cleaning some rubble. He should be cleaning the freezer because it's hideous in there. It, you know, eat a meal. That's fine as well. Doesn't bother me. Why are we all sleeping? Yeah, dude, you're not supposed to be sleeping yet. This is... I'm the only person awake. I guess, you know, we've been, we've been in a weird position for a little while. So, the fact that it's taken a while here is not a huge surprise. We're also spending a lot of our day, unfortunately, being a warden. And I think it's clear at this point this prison is not working. So you know what? If only to make it... Um, if only to make it so that we don't waste so much of our time trying to get with this colonist who doesn't even like us. Um, we're going to release them. That way we don't spend the first two hours or three hours of every day trying to... Um, Take a 1 in 50 chance to save them. Or to get them, well, save them because they're malnourished. But get them onto our side. You know what I mean. Alright. We we do have to cook fine meals. But we have 13 right now. I don't mind just building the things that we need to build for our colony to at least be okay. You know, for, for our colony to be in a position that we're semi-happy with again. Like to get back to square zero, basically. But Mood has been taken care of for now. Doolittle even is in a good place, which is a big surprise to me. What's your next job after you finish with this door? Smoking a smoke leaf joint? You know what? Your mood kind of sucks, so I'll allow it. Let's see who's doing nothing right now. Doolittle, hauling. Hauling's important, but it's not as important as making sure that Nick's room is actually inside. And then... Hauling components. That's not actually something I even want you to do right now. Because I want those components to be readily available to construct more um, more turrets. Wow. Doolittle is actually a really good builder. Hauling slag chunk. Okay. Security. We only have two turrets hooked up right now. I'd at least like to build two more. Obviously, I'd like to build even more than two more, but if we can get two done right now, I'd be relatively pleased. Tattered Apparel on Roman. Okay, so that's one turret up. Not really a big ask there. That was pretty fast. 
And it, it should be hooked up to the grid. You're gonna haul steel club. Important, but I don't think as important as uh, getting this turret active. Okay. Minor break risk. Alpaca patrol. What's your problem, buddy? Innocent prisoner died in a little pain. Ugly environment. We, we have a lot of stuff that needs to be hauled. I would, you know, give you 100% confirmation on that. Research finished. Deep drilling. Tomo, my boy. All right, let's let's get some like rapid fire stuff here. Let's get some IEDs, which can make our kill box uh, a lot stronger. As uh, as Michael L. Fox actually let me know. All right, Doolittle's not in a great place. Very much slowed down. He's got like an actual alcohol addiction, not even withdrawal. Well, you know it is a it's a chronic disease. I wish you could at least get over the go juice withdrawal. Oh, she's she's in a daze. All right, Nick. Consuming fine meal, acceptable. Tomo, researching. You know what? Please just continue the research. That's fine by me. Um, I'm asleep. I assume. Yes. Roman, what's your construction skill like? Two, aka pretty bad. Nick. Three. Tomo. Four. All right, Nick. Because you're not doing anything else important right now except relaxing. New lovers! Rockley Smile and Tomo have come together! Dude, this is so good! For our, um, for morale. So let's actually, like, produce a double bed as soon as possible. And if we can make it out of... Granite. Because we have a bunch of it. That would be sweet. And this is Nick's room. Soon to be, uh, Nick and Tomo's room. So you know what? Forget that door. Build this double bed out first. That also opens up one room for us to use as a possible prison and maybe give us a better chance to get uh, prisoners on our side later. Hunter lacks ranged weapon. All right, yep. Fair enough. All right, it's gonna take 200 years to build this, but that's good. Well, it's not good, but it's, it is what it is. This thing can now be um, disassembled. Or if not disassembled, at least like stored somewhere. We might even just leave it there for now. Maybe it'll just make the room that much more impressive. Or maybe, you know, ricochet can sleep in our bed. Alright, finally. Don't fail. We're gonna set owners. This is gonna be Tomo and Rockley Smile. Okay, so that's a huge, like, easy mood buff for them. Fantastic news. We've completed our meal order, so now we're making medicine. When 21 medicine is made, finally I will be open to do research again after, you know, two weeks of, of failing it. Um, okay, all this stuff has got to get hauled. I think one of the best things that we could do right now... I don't know why that's not getting hauled. One of the best things we could do right now is build a... Um, a smelter. Which I should have done ages ago. Cost 170 steel. But if we build a smelter, solar flares, so all electronics are gonna not work right now. I don't even mind just like building the smelter in here, even though it's gonna get real hot. Our, our other workshops are kind of full. It's gonna be ugly, but at least it gets the job done. Um, my thinking is that at the very least we'll be able to turn all of this slag, instead of hauling it and then turning it into something else, we'll, we'll just be able to take it, uh, we'll be able to solve it one step faster. Why am I so, oh, probably smoke leaf. Okay, okay, whoop. Starvation, hunter lacks ranged weapon. Collapse due to exhaustion, but hey, it's two degrees outside. Let's make a real save, and this is just real save, one, two, five, recovery. We're, we're making progress in some respects. It's taken time, but uh, the, the progress is indeed being made. Very slowly producing more medicine. And what's what's my other, you know, priority right now? My other priorities? Uh, I would really like... Are you hauling or are you... You're hauling at the stockpile zone. That's fine. Um, I'd really like to uh, just continue rapid fire research. Our freezer is actually holding its uh, its temperature. And considering that it doesn't take too, too long for... Uh... Ooh, it's zero now. Considering it doesn't take too, too long for a solar flare to pass, we're not going to lose our food. 
you know, our TV doesn't work, our heaters don't work. These aren't really a major problems as long as, as long as uh, it, it ends quickly, and it did. Alright, so Tomo's researching now. As much as I, like, I know research is important, I just talked about it being important. I need you to... This grizzly's gotta go, dude. I wish I could just issue an order. Not an order, but like, a... a I wish I could tell my turrets to shoot at this grizzly. Because this thing, you know it's gonna go fucking grizzly man on us any minute now. So, Tomo, you're like our greatest killer, and also our greatest scholar. I think I want you to murder this grizzly in this, our present moment. So Nick is an altruist, which is why he's equipped with Molotov cocktails. Rob is awake. Oh no, he's, he's about to fall asleep. Roman has a sword. I, I want everyone available to kill this grizzly, but I, it could turn on us tomorrow. So, I, I just want at least me and Rob to be awake. And Doolittle, actually. Who, who actually is awake now. What's she doing? Oh my god, she's so horrible. <laughs> Please. Just get over the go juice addiction. That's all I ask. We got grizzlies to kill. Alright, you need a weapon. Grab your toque. Put on your work boots and your respirator. I mean, I don't understand why our visibility is so low right now. I mean, I know we got some smoke leaf joints, but this is ridiculous. Okay, what's she going to do after that? She's going to go rest. Really? The nerve of some people. Alright, Tomo's asleep. We need Tomo to be awake to kill this grizzly. Probably. I'm gonna go make medicine. Tomo! Fuck it, we're doing this. Real save. One, two, six. Grizzly. Man. Okay, how are we gonna do this? It's gonna be very simple. We're all drafted. We're gonna come out here. We're gonna have anybody open fire on this grizzly. And then, the turrets will do the work for us. Grizzly Bear Revenge. No kidding. There we go. We got a shot now. Oh, jeez. We did it. We did it. We did it. Undrafted. We'll lead for weeks. We're gonna be rich! No, this is awesome. Okay, so now we got, you know, a lot of grizzly meat. Do little in an extreme break risk. Not a surprise. I will say, you know, I think we've gotten a lot better at handling things the first time they come about in RimWorld. That doesn't mean I haven't saved scum recently, because obviously I have, but uh, it does mean that... Uh, you know, I, I think I'm getting better at doing things the first time. That's all I'm trying to say, and I think that that's relatively fair. Roman is, you know, doing a great job making some corn casseroles. If you think that it's not okay for him to be smoking weed and working in a kitchen at the same time, I suggest you never go to a restaurant again in your life, based on what I've heard. But, uh, you know what? It doesn't bother me, even though it, it's ruining his productivity a little bit. It's okay. I can't help but feel that... Manhunter pack, a, a pack of manhunting rhinoceroses. Whoa, yo, dude, this is free steel. What are we doing here? Okay, you. I mean, I don't really care if we shut you down, but for you, we're supposed to take your blades first and then shut you down. I gotta see what happens with these rhinos, dude. Real save one two seven rhinos. This is a real concern, to be honest with you. They're mad as hell, and they are not going to take it anymore. Are they going to bust down my door? Do a little where you... No! Clear prioritized work. Just go eat them. Consume a simple meal. Consume a fine meal. That's fine. This area is now forbidden. I don't think three turrets is enough.
No, no, you don't do this now. You know what? Okay, we're gonna cancel bills on these guys quickly. What am I doing? Cancel bills. We'll go get these guys later. It's like the one time it's not acceptable is right now. So he's still going to get this Scyther. You know what? No, you're not. Not for now, anyway. Alright, what's your new job, Rob? What's your new job, Rob? Hauling slag chunks. That's fine. I would love these guys to aggro down here. Oh, one of them's gonna make it! One of them's gonna make it! They're all gonna make it? Rob, what, what's your job? Alright, you're on rhino duty, son. We only have three active turrets. You think it's enough? Tomo's just chilling. He already killed a grizzly. Does he need to kill a rhino as well? How much HP do you guys have? HP, HP, HP. Oh, I can't see. It's gotta be in here somewhere. Life expectancy 45? I don't think so, son. I don't think so, son. Welcome to the kill box, buddy! You've made a terrible mistake. Are you coming for Rob? Oh, we've done it, we've done it. Okay. Um, good job, team. So, straight up, Tomo, you're still awake? I know you're researching, you're doing a great job. Your country thanks you. You need to build uh, this other turret. Do you hear that? Is that the rhino sound? That's good god, it's horrific! What? Oh, Rob's just cleaning. That's just rude. Cleaning around the dying rhinoceros. At least finish the euthanizing, man. Like, is that what we're gonna do? Taking rhinoceros to bed? Look, even in our time of great strife, I can't just not, I can't lose my humanity, alright? I mean, we're, we're trying to, NL and a rhinoceros have formed a bond. I was gonna euthanize it, but now we have a pet rhinoceros. Ah! Uh, real save, real save, real save. Um, they're, they've come for Uma. Alright, Tomo. This is where I need you. To be the greatest I've ever seen. Tomo? Machine gun Tomo! He's done it again. He's the world's greatest! Rock, Lee, smile, you don't want to do that. Just, just go, just go play chess, dude. Just go play chess, okay? Go, go cut down this oak tree. Okay, we gotta go. And Tomo's gotta go. The rhinos have surmounted the sandbags. The rhinos have surmounted the sandbags, I repeat. That door's coming down, boys! Get out of here! No, Tomo, that's the wrong way. That's my bed, that's my bed, that's my bed. That's what I meant to do, right there. Ooh, we got this, we got this. We got this, we got this, okay. Get back in there, Tomo, get back in there. We're gonna eat for weeks, man. We're gonna eat for weeks. The rhino meals are gonna be out of control. We've done it, we've done it, we've done it, undrafted. We handled things with amazing skill. Not only did we not suffer any huge concerns as a result of this, we actually got a pet rhino, not to mention we're gonna have so much rhino meat, it's gonna be for goddamn ridiculous. You think I'm gonna let a wild hare cause me problems now? Yeah, okay. 
Uma has died because of blood loss. Well, that's pretty much the worst case scenario. Um, we get a minus eight mood debuff for effectively no benefit whatsoever. Well, we got a new pet. Beavers. Doesn't bother me. We use wood for like nothing at this point in our lives. Rob's got a ton of cleaning to do. Nick is doing some... Oh, this is going to be butchering. That's good. I, I, I really want to, like, have a larger freezer. I know I know it's Doolittle that's starving. She can't handle herself, okay? Um, are we not doing a euthanize thing here? I mean, if we're, we, should, we still should. I don't really want... I mean, I want a pet rhino, but... You know, I, I don't want to go through the taming. Oh, now we have a new one. Cosme. Automatically gets rid of the euthanize, I guess. She's in severe pain. 30-year-old rhino. Cosme's no longer incapable of walking. I think we're, I mean, we're like 25 minutes in here. It might seem like we've made no progress, but we've got a ton of meat stored up in our freezer. And good lord, have we uh, weathered the storm here. Got through five mad rhinos without any conceivable problems. In fact, it seems like we're mostly going to have benefits. And then, beyond that, we got one of them as a pet. Cosme has gotten sick from infection. The infection is in her neck. If we don't get one as a pet, honestly, life goes on. But I would I would prefer to get one as a pet, if possible. Um, okay, so wh what has to happen still? Tomo is... Tending to Cosme. Alright, it's got to be done. I, I respect that. Hauling Rhino Hide. Important, but I do think the Electric Smelter has to get built. Just because it gives us such an easy thing to do with this slag, and it turns it into steel, which we're going to want regardless. Alright. Bring her home. I mean, she got shot about 20 times. Ooh, you know what? Based on the infection, it's minor right now, but we're, we're moving only very, very slowly towards completion. You really should just consume fine meal and rest. Somebody else can work on construction. I know I'm cooking fine meals right now. You know what? My job is now working on the electric smelter. It's got to get done. Slowly but surely, our kill box is getting stuff hauled out of it. It's taken about eight or nine thousand years. The Manic Face Beaters have contacted you on radio. They are willing to give Jason Smith OTI for 4,300 silver. We, I wish I could, honestly. I would. I would I would pay that to get Josh back if we, uh, if we had the opportunity. But we don't have the infrastructure. We don't have the resources right now. So, you know, it, it's a bummer, but that's life. And, of course, now that I'm building the smelter... Um, we're hauling our slag, finally. Uh, let's, let's take a look at some graphs here. Wealth is still going strong. We're in 110,000, which is a little ridiculous. Really no major swing since that one that nearly killed the entire colony. Mood, pretty violently going up and down. Uh, probably corresponding to whenever the smoke leaf harvest is. Only eight or nine years to get this uh, to get this smelter done. You know what? You're go go eat a meal because it's exactly the same situation again. Um, all right, so these guys also have to be harvested. So remove part, remove part, shut down, and then this guy you can just shut him down. And there's so much steel up here that it seems sensible to me to go get it. We've got some serious construction based inefficiencies going on though. We have two uh, major break risks, but I do not like to see. Oh my god, Roman also has alcohol withdrawal. How does this... <laughs> also, rebuffed by Tomo and rebuffed by Alpaca Patrol times four. Maybe you could just put it in your pants for a little while, Roman, and we wouldn't have to worry about this shit. Um, it's a bummer though. I don't know how all of our colonists end up getting addicted to alcohol when we have like four beers at a time uh, on... Uh, on tap. Okay, Rob is gonna go 
haul you to the stockpile zone. Which will then be harvested by somebody. I, I hope. Well, we got meat on demand, basically. Roman's doing a good job of cooking. Roman's in the kitchen with onions. But somebody has to finish building this smelter. Like, I'm begging you. Butchering's being done. Our freezer probably needs to be spread out. Oh, mad animal's hair. Some sort of psychic wave has swept over the hairs in the area. Starting to cause mass hysteria. Is somebody being attacked? Oh, no. They just they found their way into my kill box. That's, that's a bummer. Man, I really hate when the game decides to give me just a fuck ton of free meat. I do need to be concerned about uh, when they come inside, but only <laughs> that the expression didn't feel right. But only if they come in through the north entrance here. Cosme has died because of infection. Oh my god. I'm going through the ringer here when it comes to animal deaths, man. Well, let's cremate it. Thank you, Nick. I don't want to see the body if possible. Oh, and by cremate, I mean let's eat it. You know, every part of the buffalo. Well, that is going to do it for this episode. Um... Real save, one, two, nine, RIP. Some forward progress. We've almost finished our next bit of research into IEDs. We've almost got our smelter built. We've rebuilt some walls, and we weathered the storm of a uh, rhino apocalypse. But for now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.